Hi. Today I'd like to talk to you about a phenomena that's rather tragic, actually. It turns out that middle-aged white men in the United States with a high school diploma or lower are committing suicide at a higher rate, a much higher rate, than any other equivalent white male group around the world. And their rate of increase is higher than that of any other minority group in the United States. And the people studying this phenomena say the reason why this is happening is because middle-aged white men were raised with certain privilege. And with that came the expectation that their privilege will always continue. And as times change, and even though they still have more privilege than any other equivalent group in the United States, the decrease in privilege they received is leading to an increase, a dramatic increase in suicide in that group. And the people looking at this study also looked at black males in the United States without a college degree. And they asked, well, why isn't this group committing suicide is this, at this increased rate? And what they determined, it's, it's because black men understand they're going to get discriminated against. They don't have expectations. They expect, well, they expect life to be hard. So when life is hard, it's not something that leads them to suicide. It's expectations that's killing these people. Now I'd like to talk to you about a study with bisexuals. This one was uh, done by the University of Massachusetts and published in December of 2015. In this study, uh, they look at bisexuals, giving them a survey, asking them to uh, rate the level of discrimination and what they term biphobia by people uh, that are lesbian, that are gay men, and straight. And it turns out that bisexuals see, receive almost as much discrimination from lesbian gays as straight people, which should blow your mind, even though I know it doesn't, because we are supposed to be a part of this thing called the LGBT community, and we are receiving discrimination at almost the same rate from people within this community, the safe supposed community, as the people outside of this community. I say, let's remove the B from the LGBT. Why, you may ask? Because by being a part of this group, we're killing ourselves. Every time we tell young people who are bisexual to go in search of the LGBT community, we are creating certain expectations in their mind. And what do you think does more damage? When a person who knows they're going to be discriminated against a certain group and then gets discriminated against that group? Or when a person is told that they will be able to find solace within a group and they lower their guard and then they're discriminated against? If we look at the studies done with white men committing suicide currently and black men who aren't, we see that expectation kills. So every time we tell young bisexuals to look for and receive solace in the LGBT community, we are helping to kill them. The LG community is not our friend. Do you want proof of that? Go to your local LGBT center, ask them how much of the resources is devoted to lesbian and gay mental health, and then ask them how much of the resources is being devoted to bisexual mental health. Now, they're calling themselves the LGBT community, or the center, or whatever it is, and they're using that B in that title to help raise money from bisexuals, and there are a hell of a lot of bisexuals in this world, so you know they're getting money from them. Yet, how much of the money is going to them? And let's also keep in mind that bisexuals outnumber lesbian and gay combined. And those are just people who identify as bisexual. When you add on everyone who uses an identity on the bisexual spectrum, we outnumber gay and lesbians three to one. Three to one. So when you go to your local LGBT center and ask them and find out that they devote no additional resources to bisexual mental health, or almost no additional resources, it should break your heart. And it should be even worse when you realize that bisexuals attempt and commit suicide at three times the rate of lesbians and gays. This group is not our friend, and it's about time 
that we acknowledge this fact and pull ourselves apart. And I'm not talking about individuals. Everyone has the right to be treated as an individual, whether you're gay, whether you're lesbian, whether you're straight, or whether you're bisexual. We all do. But there's this thing in psychology called groupthink. What it means is that when you take individuals and place them in a group, that group will make different decisions than the individuals that comprise the group. That's a community. That is a lesbian gay community. And those are the people that are harming us. So when we stop telling people to be a part of this community and a bisexual goes to a pride parade and gets booed by lesbians or booed by gay men, it won't hurt as much. We are causing our own suicide rate. And it's about time that we do more stuff to help. And part of that is to withdraw from the LGBT community because it doesn't exist. And if it exists, it's not helping us. It's only killing us. We are not alone. There are a lot of bisexuals out there. But every time we send bisexuals to be taken care of by gay and lesbians, we are making them feel alone. And there's no wonder that we commit suicide at three times the rate of that other group. So please, please, as the leadership of bisexuals, as our individual bisexuals, as friends of bisexuals, stop telling bisexuals to look for the LGBT community because they're helping to kill us. Please. That's it. If you like the video, please like it and share it. Because if we don't talk about this, it will never be talked about. And something has got to change. We can't go on like this and survive. Well, um, I guess it's time for me to say, stay cooler and stay alive, my bisexual friends. Stay cooler. Bye.